So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sanskar Tiwari and in this video, you're going to learn how to create this awesome to-do web app with Flutter and Firebase. So first thing first, let's see how the app works and what are the, what are the different features app covers. So as you can see, this is the sign-in screen of the app, which includes a sign-in with Google option. So if we click on this button, it will show us this pop-up, which will show all the different Google accounts you have you can select any of them let me go with my the indian app guy account and uh, once you will select the account it will sign in with google and our screen will be uh, reloaded and we will be redirected to the home screen so this is how the home screen looks like so as you can see it's loading by the way so yeah now as you can see this screen includes um, first it's just a text saying my day and then there is a Tuesday, which is the day of the week. We have May 19. Uh, 19 is actually the date, not the 2019 or 2020. Um, okay, so now let's see how we can add a task. So this is what I need to do. So this is the new to-do which I want to add. And as you can see, uh, when I started writing, as soon as I have something in this field, this add button was visible so if i will click on this you can see this adds this particular task instantly also all of this is actually behind the scenes working with firebase so this is actually in sync with real-time data of firestore so whenever i add any particular data it is actually getting added over there so even if i will close this uh, site and come back to it i will be able to access all my tasks so let's see how we can do a normal things like complete it and delete so if i will click on over here you can see i can make this task or assign this task however you want to call it as completed if i will click on this the task will be deleted also we have an option to log out okay so that was about how a web app will work Additionally, we will also be adding the PWA support, which means that you, you will be able to see this kind of option um, when you will open it on phone or if you will open it on maybe iPhone. I'm not <laughs> I have not tried on that, but also on the web if you are using laptop desktop. So first, let me show you for Android. So if you will click over here on clicking on add what PWA is, it's called progressive web apps. Um, so it says add to home screen touch and hold to place manually okay so let's click on add automatically and it should add the app so you can see this app has been actually the website has been added as a native app so if i will click on this you can see it launches with this splash screen which actually is added automatically i haven't added that so you can see we can access or use this app natively as well even though this is a website okay so that's what a progressive web app is now they work on laptop desktop as well so if you can see over here we have this plus icon if i will click on this it will show me this pop-up where it mentions get the name of the app and the website and if i will click on install it's going to install the app for my laptop so you can see the app is running as a native mac app <laughs> uh, so that's what the pwa functionality is we will also be incorporating this so yeah we have a lot of things to cover also one thing we which i also want to mention that if i uh, go back to this website again i have also added shared preference so that we can make sure the user is logged in but for some reason it's not working okay. So to summarize, in this video series, you will be learning Number 1. How to connect a Flutter web app with Firebase Number 2. How to add Google sign-in functionality in a Flutter web app Number 3. How to perform CRUD operation with Firebase Firestore in a Flutter web app Which basically means uploading the data to Firestore, fetching the data from Firestore and updating the data in Firestore and deleting the data in Firestore Next, we will be learning how to Keep the user logged in using shared preferences. Then we will be learning how to host our Flutter web app to Firebase hosting with PWA support. So if that excites you, 
let's begin creating this awesome app. So the first thing which I did was created uh, this to-do app uh, with Android Studio, but there is uh, some prerequisite which I would like to mention. So first, I expect you already have installed Flutter on your device. If you have not uh, done that, visit flutter.dev slash docs slash get started slash install. All the links which I will be mentioning will be in the GitHub repository. So make sure to check that out. So first, just visit over here, choose your operating system and continue with the process. If you have already installed the Flutter, but you want to get started with building web applications, then visit flutter.dev docs get started slash web. Over here, you will just have three particular commands which you have to run and they will make sure that you can now run Flutter web apps. Once this all is done, then create a new Flutter project. So here's what we have. So I have created a new Flutter project which have this all the boilerplate code. So first I'm going to get rid of the unwanted comments. Then I'm going to remove this my homepage stateful widget because we will not be need, uh, using that. Then I'm going to create a new folder or package as it is called in Android Studio named views. Inside that views, I'm going to create another file which is called sign in. This will be for this particular screen which you can see at the left hand side. Next, we will also require a home screen where we will be giving all the options of adding the task, watching the task, deleting, deleting the task and like making the task as completed. So we have sign in dot dot and home. So first let's just import material list and then create a stateful widget called sign in. Next in home dot dot, I'm going to import material and then create a stateful widget called home. So since firstly we will be working in the sign in, I am going to go inside the main dot dot and rather than calling my home page, which does not exist anymore, I'm going to call sign in now making sure that i'm spelling it right if it shows error we need to import it so you can click on this and click import library then remove this title since we are not accepting any particular variable or uh, in the sign in once you will do that you are ready to go running your flutter web app one problem which you may face is uh, if you have created the project before setting up the flutter for a web in that case, you may don't have this web folder, something like this. In that case, what you have to do, go inside the terminal and uh, you have to run this command, flutter create. Let me show you again. Uh, you just have to type flutter create dot and hit enter. Once you will do that, it will generate the web folder for you. So if I will close this and open this again, you can see the web folder is there. Okay. So now let's run this app and see what do we have. Since we have not added anything, it's just a, a blank container. So there will be not uh, much, but we just more want to make sure the app is running perfectly fine so that we can continue to the next step, which is connecting our Flutter web app with Firebase. So till it is taking time to run, let me open up the Google Chrome and I will visit firebase.com. You just have to type firebase.com and then click uh, sign up, go to console. So let me show you that. First, I visited firebase.google.com, logged in with my Google account. Then I clicked on go to console. Okay, then you will be here. Okay, so you can see the app uh, is working perfectly fine. So we are good with that. Let me just get rid of this debug banner. I'm going to say debug and it will show me this option, debug show checked mode banner and i'm going to make that false so if i will save this you can see instantly it is removed okay so to setting up our flutter web app with firebase first thing what we will be doing is clicking on add project i'm going to name this app to do web app excuse me web app and then click on continue then i'll click on i don't think i need uh, any of these so i'm going to click on create project it will take a second or so and it will be get done. So to connect a particular Flutter web app with Firebase, we don't require to add things in main.dart or 
in these Dart files, but rather we need to add these in index.html. So let me show you how we are going to do that. So once your project has been created, you have to click on continue. So this is the page you will be watching. Now what you have to click, you, ha you will see this web option, just click on that. Now we have to name our Flutter web app. So I'm going to name it to do web app. Then I'm going to click on register app. We are going to set up the Firebase hosting later on. So that's why I have not selected that. Once you will do that, it will show you this um, lines of code or basically your app API key, your auto domain, your database URL, each and everything. So what you have to do now is copy this script only. Copy that. And then you have to go above this, this, you know, this is script install service open and all. You just have to go above this and paste it over here. Now you just have to make sure you have a little bit of space like that by uh, using clicking on tab. Okay, then we need to add this. So let me copy that one. Copy that and paste it here. And one thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to hit tab. Okay, so our app has actually been connected to Firebase for web. So that's all what is required to connect our app or Flutter web app with Firebase. Now we need to add sign in with Google option, which I will cover in the next video. So to make sure you don't miss it out, hit subscribe button, click on the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.